Oh, oh, hi. Uh, hi, my name yeah. is Linky, and I am I am the new uh, overlord of the Dynamax podcast. I have taken a seat on the council. I have banished all the former members, and it is now my podcast to do with what I please. Today, Ryan is here with me, and I'm going to make fun of him. For wait, wait, but minutes. I thought you I thought you banished everyone. <laughs> Why am I oh, still see, here? See, I selectively, selectively brought people back as I need them. They're in jail. Oh, and, you okay. know. The reason... Okay, well, give me a second. I'll just I'll free everyone really quickly. Their, uh, their punishment, their, their punishment is that they play Pokemon BDSP for the rest of time, and that's the only game we can play. Linky, 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 buddy, how about you let everybody out and you just let Alex? That's okay. I already let everyone out while he wasn't looking. That's great. Let's do it. Oh, thank God! I thought I'd never get out of there. I want to point out the only reason Linky owns this podcast now is because Ryan went. Linky d doesn't know the password. I've never ran down the password. It's only in my cranium. And then, and then Linky just typed in Cram Rant, and then Ryan was like, "Nah, it's not that predictable." And then he typed in Cram Rant one, and now here we are. <laughs> the password was actually Cram Rant for Smash, and it worked. What? No, I changed it. Cram Rant is not yet in Smash. Could you imagine if you yeah. were watching a podcast? Yeah, give it a bit. Yes. <laughs> Next game, I'm telling <laughs> Yes, it's coming. It'll be the first one announced for the new Smash game it's on the Wii. On it's the, coming. The Wii 2. The Wii 2. The Wii 2 U. Bit late for a sequel. <laughs> They're going to be like, we really like that concept with the Wii U. We want to go back to it. We think it could be a winner. <laughs> you know, guys? You know, maybe, maybe the Wii U... <laughs> yeah, I don't think anything named that would have won. How many people here owned a Wii U? I did. Unfortunately. I, I haven't. Uh. I'll never wrong. understand why they didn't make a Pokemon Snap on it. The hardware was perfect for it, but eventually True. we got it. I'll never get over how I should be lazy. It'd be great if they make a Pokemon Snap on there. One of sold well. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's true. That's it would have done terrible. Like, this game out every Switch for has outsold its Wii U counterpart. That's really sad. No, but then it would have gone no port that did so. It would have gone Switch port. There we when go. When are we getting Amiibo Festival for the Switch? Come on, game. Come on, game. Oh my gosh, please. No. <laughs> I should just, I should remove, I should like edit out him saying no. So he just says please. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Ryan, you're gonna edit what I say in post? That's- is this yeah. how this podcast oh, is run? Okay. No, Imagine but they're- no, there's- no, there's censors on them. I can't believe it, Ryan's gonna edit Linky to make it sound like he said Queensville sucks. Well, he did though, right? Oh, I, I don't- I don't true. even- I don't even know what he just- <laughs> It has. There's been there's been a couple yeah. things that have happened since I've come on. You know, a some couple. new games came out. I, think I was gonna say you kind of you kind of had like a bit of a like not a resurgence, but like what's the word? You you kind of popped off. Like you just sort of like, you just sort of took you saw your opportunity. You with, took uh, the Pokemon you hit the ground and running. You went, this is prime real estate. I'm he decently not to. I, I uh, Alex. I'm decently sure I made Pokemon videos the last time I was on this podcast. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that long ago he was on. I think right? the last time I was on was the summer. Yeah, and you were listen, you were on maybe strong. like September. Yeah. Listen, listen, my trying to sell me time. short. I see how it is. Listen, my concept of time has has really genuinely been fucked up during. This Damn you, Dialga! You know what's funny about the concept of time? It was, in the new, uh, it was in the new Pokemon game. <laughs> I'm not, like, I'm, I'm genuinely not gonna lie. The, 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 this, whole, this whole quarantine has fucked up my perception of time. It's still March 2020 for me. That's, uh, that's me after I graduated high school. <laughs> Suddenly, weekends mattered a lot less, and I didn't know what day it was. Oh god, shut up, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'm gonna graduate in like a, oh, in like a few months. The Diamond Clan and Pro Clan. Uh, Oh, oh you're gonna miss high school. I feel like. No, I you're won't. You're think you're not gonna miss like, high school, but. I feel like if I feel like if I feel like if Indigo went to college, I feel like she would um love it there because college is like high school but without the stupid kid stuff. And like January. What does that mean? I miss community college. I don't miss high school. 
Yeah, commu uh, my friend did community college for one year before he transferred, and he's like, it was basically like another year of high school, except with except people weren't none of cringe. the clicks and none yeah. of the nonsense. Community college yeah. is just, you, you meet the most interesting people there, and not like in a bad interesting people, like genuinely like, I actually want to hear them talk. I want to hear you guys talk, that's why I'm here. Uh, about, oh, yeah, we're going to be talking about the best game, Alex's favorite game. BDSP. <laughs> yes, 10 out of 10. Let's game go. Of the year 2021. <laughs> I still think oh it's my God. Like, it has like the best graphics, like the toy yeah. aesthetic, so much better than freaking Link's Awakening. I think it is. Like, pretty Link's Awakening cool. like I, a my hotspot just started throttling me, so I will now have to be on my phone. All right. For a bit. Unless, unless my that, internet connection improves. That arc phone is going to come in handy. It will. <laughs> she goes back in time. Arceus is like, I'm not gonna touch this phone. I'm just gonna get you a new one. This fast travels to the Ar next one. Arceus <laughs> is Steve Jobs. Oh my god. I love that Arceus was like, mm, I'm gonna send this person back in time. Sees their phone. Ah, excellent. Steve Jobs, Arceus. <laughs> Oh, I know what I'm nicknaming mine. <laughs> if the anime ever did the project, if the anime ever did the 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 RC is go back in time, Ashu goes rotom on phones just fucking die. Let's go. I win. Ryan, you got shoes. You can either have Kaoru go back in time, but you have to deal with her during the whole arc. Or if she doesn't go back, that means you have to keep the Rotom voice for the phone. Does it breathe between sentences? Yes. Oh. <sighs> so choose your poison, Ryan. Wait, what? Oh. Does Rotom need to breathe? It breathes. Uh, apparently, in the, it the, in the dub, because it, it's that's like scary. Oh. I don't, I don't it goes like, like it goes like Ash is like, oh, scan this, and it's like Ivy Sword. <gasps> <laughs> it's not even. He's not even does, over exaggerating it, really. The Pokédex does share the same voice as Renji, so Renji probably yes. did the voice for it. I'm genuinely. Yes, I am really surprised that Legends Arceus doesn't do anything with Rotom, given that like Game Freak, like that is surprising. It's that concept, just and they ran with it you know, hard. You know, it's more surprising that there's no Kanto starters. In it. I know there's no Charizard. <laughs> it's so good, so refreshing. I think this game's really interesting. From a, I'm waiting for someone to. You'll do it just wait for the expansion where it is. <laughs> The expansion pack, forty nine ninety nine. When they talk about, I pay for that. Forty nine ninety nine. How much you there? I, pro I probably pay for <laughs> that. If, if Nintendo can charge sixty some odd dollars for their expansion pack for that Switch Online, Pokemon could do. Hey, 40. they made me pay sixty dollars for a BDSP. I'll pretty hey, much buy it. Hey, they made me pay eighty dollars for BDSP. You, That's where the deal is. Isaiah, oh, we oh you game. did buy BDSP. You did buy. I think I'm never making fun of Sword and Shield. Oh y'all. Never making fun of Sword and Shield. Uh, no, 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 Sword no. and Shield is clear of BDSP. Wait, I thought we were making fun of Sword and Shield. Hang on. No. Uh, uh, Sword and I Shield, didn't... the uh, the now second best-selling Pokemon games in franchise history. Wow. Really? You'll you'll scare people yeah, by yeah, saying it's that. Because it's on the Switch. <laughs> yeah. Because it's on the it's, Switch. No, no, because people, really because people were like this, like it's proof that it's the best po second best Pokemon game in the series. I'm like, who, who, who said? said no. Wait, who oh, said no. that? No. Who said that? Okay, <laughs> it's Joshua K as a O between it is a really, you know. No, the only the only thing that it proves it. is that. Pokemon fans on the internet do not represent the bulk majority of people who play these games. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a vocal minority for any fandom where you just hear people are so loud and it just feels like, oh my yeah. gosh, these people are so toxic. And it's just like, any, it's just because you're on the internet. Any person that's deep into any specific fandom thinks their fandom is the worst on the internet. It's actually just that the internet's bad. <laughs> the internet is pretty bad. That's true. That is true. The internet's pretty bad, unless you're part of the Dynamax podcast. Or if you watch my channel, forever. then I love you. Then you're great. Love you. Dearly. <laughs> the internet's, my internet is bad. Join the Dynamax podcast Discord server for a no, free I'm not like my, No, I meant like my internet itself, not like the internet, mine specifically. 
Steph, you're ruining my pitch. I'm trying to get people to join the Discord server and get yeah, free t-shirts. But we don't have any oh, to give can, away. Oh, well, I can do it. Oh, well. Why are okay, they free? The free t-shirts will, um... Why are they free? Okay, we're gonna do use Star's free? credit card to pay for the t-shirts. Do guests on the podcast get a free t-shirt? Are we gonna get it? No, a no, guess, no, no. Guests not. have to pay for it. <laughs> get it for half off. You no. can have the shirt for half off. Oh, listen, bro, listen. You can I would... Get, I would wait, love wait, wait. a Dynamax podcast merch store. Come on, come Here on. Here you go. I'm Dynamax gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a hoodie linky with Star's face on it. Oh my God! I I couldn't ask for anything better. I'm gonna wear it every time I watch The Legend of Korra. It's gonna be great. Oh, he'll love that. The church is starts coming alive. It starts Every burning. Watch. Yeah, that's I am. Right. I am. I am still waiting for Isaiah to start it. Dude, I'm I, I, dude really, to be fair, I'm not. I, I'm not starting that show. Don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> Have fun, I guess. Oh what? <laughs> the, proud, the, the proud family, loud and proud. I'm not starting that show until I'm finished that. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Oh, hey, Star. Mm -hmm. How about that piece thing? I got a new laptop. Peacemaker's great. Amazing. Good. Great. Awesome. Outstanding. Amazing. Remarkable. <laughs> that's what, that's what I've been thinking about Legends Arceus. I remember that guy from Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for him to come back before Serena. Alex, how, oh, have, you, how have you liked Legends Arceus? I have an app. I don't know what you think. Game. Really? I probably could argue that Legends Arceus is in top five category. Isn't it's, or it's is? Top, it's, it's like I think it's personally the best Pokemon game that I have ever played. I think it's the most ambitious. I'm game. waiting. I'm waiting for some time to pass before we give them. Like, game. <laughs> like I haven't played much of other Pokemon games. Like, I wanna but hear, like um... Arceus is just like so damn good. I needed it after Sword and Shield. I, I, needed it after, <laughs> I needed it after Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. <laughs> I didn't get Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I didn't pay for it. I didn't pay for it, so I was fine regardless. Yeah. I didn't pay for it. So I like. Chill. I like had sort. I had like Shield in my back log for like a year, and then I decided to play it. And it's like, the more I played it, the more I started to like. This game isn't all that fun. <laughs> I will say though, Steph, the DLC is a lot of fun though. The DLC is the reason anything. why I don't mind it. If yeah, DLC just, is what makes the game. The, the problem I'll is that, that I don't. I honestly don't really care enough to buy the DLC. I'll give you. It's a just I'd rather dangerous take. Uh, without the uh, DLC, BDSP is a better game than Sword and Shield. Okay. I I I think I agree I with that. No. No. Uh, Face sword, sword, sword and Shield is is really really disappointing, and, and it, only because oh, BDSP. That's true, but at least BDSP yeah. is what it is. Sword and Shield base game feels like it's trying to do a ton of stuff that just isn't there. Yeah. And BDSP is a remake of a bad game. They could have gave oh. us platinum. Whoa. No, oh, it was yeah, they, 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 they chose, they chose no. the original. No, they chose yeah, Diamond know. and Pearl. There's no excuse. Like, here's the thing: Star Show's disappointing, and I'll be the first one to call it out on its shortcomings because it has as much shortcomings as. A lot, a lot. Actually, I'm not gonna it go there. It has so many shortcomings. Say, it's it's so I'm not gonna say that. That's gonna make some. Oh yeah, I actually, Whoa. I, 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 I actually didn't finish Sword and Shield. I just. Yeah, you don't want to pick it, it up again. Yeah, I, yeah, I archived it to play Legends. I get what Isaiah's saying. It's uh, <laughs> that this game at least is like has to be original in some degree. Because here's the thing: I played tons of remakes, and I mean tons. Pokemon right. remakes, Final Fantasy remakes. Mario and Luigi remakes. Technically, well, technically, Resident Evil yeah. remake? Oh, wait, that's a whole game. Shut up! No, 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 I am going to will actually you and you're going to sit here and listen. Oh, here we go. Well, actually, FF7R isn't actually a remake, it's more of a sequel. No, it's not a remake, it's a remake. Why is it called Final Fantasy XIV? Wait, what? It's because it's a remake, but it adds new stuff to it. 
It's an uh, alternate. Yeah, it's a remake, but it's an alternate it's universe. A, it's the a, original. Kind of like Aura. It's a remake. Yeah, yeah it's literally Aura. It's See, and this is why I don't get people who say Oras is bad. It's like Oras is bad. It's like, yeah, we don't, you don't, we get it. Yeah. You don't watch between you. Like, well, Oras well, itself is fine. I just have soured a lot on the Gen Six art style. That's it. Yeah, that's fair. Gen Six is just kind of. Yeah. To be fair, Aras to, be, Aras to, be, to be fair though, Oras does look better than X Y. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, the thing I don't like about Oras is the Pokemon that you run into while surfing. You only get the I good do. stuff when you're fishing. What I don't what like, do like is what I don't like is that Emerald is still three hundred fifty degrees as opposed to like eight directions. Ryan, <laughs> <laughs> as it should be, Emerald well, is S tier. Well, I mean, Emerald is God tier. Yes. But, but Jeff, game. Jeff, Oras but, has Zinnia. Eh, that's true. That's why Oras makes Ruby and, and then Sapphire look actually, like that. Let me not mention. Let me not mention Zinnia because you might just get PTSD. Oh my fucking god. I feel it. like about oh, like yeah. I feel like saying oh, let me not god. mention Zinnia, and then oh, it just reminds him. Oh my god! Poor Jeff. Now. Zinnia, what the I do have a question though. Oh, On the topic of Pokemon games, I do got a legitimate topic I want to bring up. Has a Pokemon okay. game ever even slightly changed the way you perceive like anything? What do like, you mean? What do you mean? So, like, mm. in most Pokemon games, it's like, okay, the story of black and white has, like, themes and morals of, like, oh, tr truth truth versus ideals and stuff like that. Most Pokemon games have, like, kind of a base story point of that. And what's with, like, BDS? Legend I mean, what's the, the Shield? They got, like, so I couldn't they tell. got the, the, the Diamond people who, like, talk about time and, like, how not yeah. to waste it. And then mm -hmm. they got the Pro Clan who talk about face and not wanting to waste it and this is like the first time i've genuinely been like moved by like like a like something like that in a pokemon game like, oh, you're the, talking like, about you're talking game. about the narrative yeah i'm talking about the narrative. Uh, yeah. i think the, the second first time, time i think it's the yeah it's the second time for me because black and white man yeah that's a good one and you actually and, probably should play black or white sometime ed and gets this really it's did right something to me as a kid the, pro the problem is that I don't know if I'm just used to the Pokemon <laughs> gameplay flow. You play an emulator, so you can speed go, Pokemon. Pokemon. No, 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 no. And that's it's not it's the, it's not the problem of acquiring it. It's like I'm not 100% used to the Pokemon gameplay flow pre Gen 6 before the EXP share. It's 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 super. And sweet. black and white. Okay. But, black and white yeah. two have the funniest NPC of all time. Uh, I won't you... let you cross this bridge until you battle me. If you say no to him, he just tells you to go under the bridge. <laughs> that's you. That's pretty good. <laughs> like, this I think good. you actually can go under the bridge and avoid the guy, too. That's hilarious. What about that one obstacle? It was just a bunch of people standing there, and they said they were standing there for no reason. <laughs> and they'll leave for no reason. Yeah, they'll leave for no reason. Black and white and all the ghosts. <laughs> But yeah, what was uh, what were some examples of like oh uh, the narrative change in your your minds? Black Actually, and white. Sun and moon. Yeah. Oh, or us. Like, kind I, of. like honestly, even though I will say black and white has a better story in some ways, Sun and Moon feels more complete to me because it just has better characters and better themes overall. Yeah. It was like the first yeah, time cool. I was like really a hundred percent invested in the pokemon world it even got me into the manga and i don't i didn't even really care about the manga up until that point granted i think the sun and moon manga is still weaker than like most of the other mangas but it actually got me into the manga so i think that's just a lot yeah, of your entry point, it did gotta be pretty good i actually do kind of like the story with silver sure it wasn't all that his prominent in the game but i do like his arc Especially the whole thing with him, Giovanni being his dad. That's that was interesting. yeah, that, that hit me. I I really appreciated Wally's arc in Generation Three. It's That's subtle, but the the entire discussion around the fact that he had to move his entire life because of his because of him being sick, um, and talking about the themes of nature and how you know the the better 
climate where he moved like was better for him and then that is a find pretty... yeah like i think that was really powerful I and mean, they don't really hit on it a ton but it's like a it's a subtle thing that's there because that is the main thing with gen 3 it is a lot about the environment that's why birch is like a, a field researcher who like researches pokemon in their natural habitat yep i never noticed that before with wally that's a that good job link i never thought Thank about you. that <laughs> honestly well, wally's just a very good character I actually yeah. think that Sword and Shield did a really good job with the um the competitive side of it, like how it actually yeah, weighs they down do a, on what, people. What, like when Leon, they did Leon is literally groomed to be like this super man of the region, and all of his like uh card entries imply that he's actually low key depressed about it. Meanwhile, his little brother Hop is living underneath his shadow, and it's like wow. You, you'd really think, like, does Cynthia, Steven, any of them, like, the other champions go through the same thing? They really do. Steven just really got bored and said, you know what? I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> That's true. He did give that it is a really, That is a really nice one, Jeff, because you do got, like, Bede, who was, like... Who was being groomed I, to be the I, next I, Leo, I want, too. Yeah, but then but then Rose is just like, yeah, your name is... Bead? No, it's Bead. Oh, yeah, okay. Bead. Yeah, bye. And it's like, okay, so yeah, <laughs> you scouted this kid to, 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 to throw him away? Okay. And then the shield does, does, a, does a genuinely good job developing a lot of its characters, um, yeah, which yeah. makes Rose very disappointing because yeah. he's such yeah. a basic yeah. villain. Um, I thought anime Rose was a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, because they, they gave him, like, the slightest they bit more substance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, Most I just anime are, villains oh are better. Also, what the fuck happened to- what the fuck happened to Anime Rose? He's just gone now. Oh, he's, uh, <laughs> he, he ran away and he's slowly making Rainbow Rocket. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I have. I have. <laughs> totally. Okay, so... Alrighty, my internet has not improved either. I guess I'll just have to be on my really phone. Really bad the pun podcast. that's gonna ruin this, this whole podcast. <laughs> silver might not have a heart of gold, but he did learn that there's a silver part of his soul. Oh, shut the fuck up! So I will. I will actually me? strangle you. Star, what did what has Peacemaker been doing to you? It's been unspeakable. Giving me a lot of new cool. music choices. Uh, fair enough. From what I've seen, Peacemaker looks like a really fun show. I'll probably start it later this year. It's great. What's it on? HBO Max. HBO Max. Oh, I could probably give it a watch then. Yeah. Okay, this was a very long prologue. Let's actually talk about ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Have we not? I don't think <laughs> so. <laughs> No, I've been taught. Yeah, like no, I love the. I, what I love about this game is I love that it's genuinely okay. affected, kind of me. Like just the yeah. whole like it's just the three subject of uh, the time. I, yeah. I can bring it. I can bring it back to Legends Arceus since that is the topic. Uh, talking about storylines, it's very subtle, but Legends Arceus deals with a lot of very complicated like themes. Like, yeah. how everyone expects you to die. Well, yes. Well, not only is it just more violent, but thinking about the Galaxy team coming to this land that doesn't belong to them and not trying to step on the toes of the people who were already here, there's some, some pretty deep themes that can be connected to the real world there. Uh, and they do a really good job, Columbus. yes, of weaving that entire narrative together, uh, but not, not necessarily forcing it down the player's throat to where they feel like it's heavy-handed. Um, and I think that's it's the it's probably one of the most complicated topics Pokemon's ever even hinted at in their games, besides the whole, you know, Pokemon are kind of slaves thing. But other than that, it's probably the deepest thing they've ever hit on. Yeah. They also oh, there was, uh, well there was one Cyrus's thing... nihilism. There was, but he was just like Lysander. He's like, I want to destroy the world and make something new and beauty. He's uh yeah, ah, he was like he it. was Lysander listening to Lil Uzi Vert. But <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. another thing I've noticed about Legends Arceus that I don't think people mention a lot, it completely does, like, an inversion of the spirit of, like, the franchise. Yeah. Like, you know how normally in most Pokemon games it's, 
Pokemon are our best friends. They love us. And it's so here. It's like, powers, yeah, nope, it's just these like, things are they scary. They will destroy us. <laughs> they will like, like, yeah, rip like, out the like, 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 anime uh, lied to us about Togepi yeah. being nice. Except like, for that one. Yeah. Except for that like, one. I think this is a, this is one of the few like uh, a Pokemon game that realizes these creatures hold so much power. Like they could destroy you in like an instant. And I yeah, think the reason why them. it's like that is because again we're the ones making the Pokédex. We're the ones finding everything else about. Yeah. Them. Like you know, like the, yeah. thousands of years but into I, the future, but I also everyone's like obviously how... going to be more comfortable. Yeah. I do like how, though I do like how you still do have the aspect of bonding with said Pokemon. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you're in this time period and where also... humans are forging, like, yeah. emotional yeah. attachments to Pokemon. That's why I love about the side quest, where you're like, oh, in order to increase the berry stuff, you gotta give him a, a water Pokemon and a ground Pokemon, and you just see the Pokemon hanging out there for one yeah. the, like, Security person. I, like, I, I'm, a, yeah. I'm a night shift person, and then you yeah. give them like a Zubat, and they're like, "Can I just keep it? It'll help me out in the in the dark time." Yeah. And you just see it in Jubilife Village, like befriending them and everything. Linky mentioned it with um the, the Galaxy team, but like the story reason of like what happened with um what's the um ma main guy? I always forget his name. Ha uh, Iris. No, 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 um... Mm -hmm. Rowan, Rowan's ancestor, uh... Oh, Kamado? Kamado. Kamado. Yeah, the, the story reasons of why he came to, like, this region, it's like, damn, it's his depressing. entire life was probably ruined back home because of an event. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. No, we can't go. We can't go. I don't think we can go too deep I, I, yet. Actually, as we speak, I'm like processing. There is an NPC with the three that like, like mentions something. Like, I'm only on the third island. Yeah, like yeah. I still, I still have yet to do the post game. Yeah. I heard that's how to activate the shaman side quest. Oh, you just gotta um. When, uh, yeah, when you, got you need to get to a certain point in the game before you do it. Hey. You guys are going to be real confused when Lysander comes through the portal with Giovanni and declares a war <laughs> on the world and resurrects Kyogre and Groudon and, you know, it's, so it's wild the post -game. So what you're describing is Pokemon Conquest. Nobunaga and his Rayquaza are coming in hot. Get <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh no, I can't. Oh no, the Hoopa movie's happening again. <laughs> Oh wait, by the way, there's, uh, there's trading Pokemon. Hang on, hang on a second, hang on a second, Indigo. Hmm? Are you surprised, though? Are you surprised? <laughs> I wish I could put my hands to the stream and just strangle you sometimes. <laughs> Maybe someday. Someday, <laughs> but not today. In the metaverse, you can do that. Well, oh, I fucking hate Pokemon the concept of the metaverse so much. Too bad, you're in one. We did I'm it. not in the metaverse. Well, what yeah, happened. we're doing this in it. Wait, what's the red arrow's name? Arezu? 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 Yeah, um, yeah, did, she, did she, uh, make you obsess, Linky? Did she make me obsessed? He's asking yeah. Twitter, you want to clap for cheeks. Are you, you asking to... me if I'm thirsting for a video game character? <laughs> yes! I mean the fifth. <laughs> he is. Alright, adding Linky to the list. <laughs> uh, you can go ahead. I, 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 I can't be interested in a Rezu. I've sworn off redheads. No uh, the I only thing Linky's interested in are those Minecraft pixel blocks, little weirdo. That's my <laughs> star, that's right. <laughs> add, I guess Linky's just a like or something. Our, our, our is like... Oh yeah, actually, like speaking her. of Simps, there's a lot of... Apparently, there's a character everybody Simps in this game except for Ryan. Who? We can all say the character we sent, but then if we say it, Ryan has to say it. Oh. Interesting. Uh, wait, are you talking uh, about anybody in the game? I think I have. Oh, we are. No, no, Who are you talking I about? Know. Star, I know you sent Arezu too. Oh, really? <laughs> Star. Star. I might be the because only one. I might be one of the few besides Star and Linky and maybe Ryan who doesn't simp Arezu. 
I don't get it. I don't it. think I simp any Pokemon <laughs> character, actually. I found the down low. No, Hold Star on. Simps, Star Simps the Pokemon, not the Pokemon. Star Simps just... No, that's... No, that's... That's Alex. <laughs> <laughs> No, the only people that simp Jesse are the animators. Oh! Sorry, uh, so you're saying you're an animator? Yeah. No, I wish I was, though. <laughs> I wish I was, though. Uh, I could get animator, away with drawing so many things. Animator simp Asher. That's what the animator said. That's the artist moment. One day, Ryan will get you to a meta character you simp for the game. I'm surprised he doesn't simp a race. <laughs> You're surprised I don't. <laughs> Ryan is just sitting here like I can't. I'm just, I'm just trying, to, I'm just trying to chill. Man, meanwhile, meanwhile, if you go over to Resident Evil, Ryan simps everyone. Oh yeah. Nemesis. Totally. Resident Evil. Part half of them dead. <laughs> oh yeah, Ryan's into Ryan's into zombies. Out the they're not dead. They're infected. It's totally different. Totally. I have to say though, since Gen Seven, every professor has been amazing. Every, yeah, they've ever since Gen Seven. Every they've put so much more attention on the human characters in Pokemon games. I feel like to a degree they didn't before. It's been really, really nice I'm, to see. I'm always I'm surprised cool. by how they just do it. In this game, like, a lot of characters come off as, like, what's the word? They're so hmm. Relatable. Dimensional. Yeah. They also come in pairs. You usually get, like, for, like, each, like, noble Pokemon, you get, yeah, like, there's a like, thing with, like... There's, like, two characters, at the, least. The Wardens... Who like warden the uh, the Pokemon that you have to fight, and then the one you ride? Yeah, and there's whichever clan leader just happens to be there. Yeah. So what oh, if Legends? Um, what if Legends is its own series and doesn't? Please. Generation please. Nine doesn't. No, shut up. <laughs> no, 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 Linky, Linky, Linky. Listen. It's a valid question. No, it's a valid no. Question. Get this I don't me, think. Hang on, hang on. Can't hang on. Go back. Let me get this straight. If, if, back. if Legends becomes its own thing, does that mean for Generation Eight, where we got a Gen Four um, redo of Legends, would that make it Gen One? What the fuck is this? No, Gen no, one. no, no. The fuck no. is this concept? I, I don't. Okay, want to... the thing. I just don't want to go back to the old style. I'm yeah. just don't think I don't either. Uh, hey, but let me ask. Let me play. I I don't disagree with you, Isaiah. But let me play devil's advocate and ask you this question: Isn't it better for fans if there was a reality where, in the span of a year? We're getting two different types of Pokemon games all the time. That would, so everyone, not, that would okay, not be something. like. Okay, would not not Let me just say this: Pokemon fans don't deserve shit, and I'm gonna be that in the most <laughs> nicest blunt way. One of the most incredible incels to ever cross this planet. They attack Game Freak That's every so single wrong. day for a freaking tree, and you're saying they deserve two type of games. No, they can suffer. <laughs> I'm I agree with Isaiah. Pokemon fans here. don't deserve anything. They, they also attacked, um, let's see, staff writers because two 10 year olds didn't hold hands. So, <laughs> kind of things like Pokemon fans are like, yeah, you guys can wait for our game. You guys get yearly games. You know what doesn't get yearly games? Let me see Zelda, 3D Mario, oh, Mitchell, uh... Donkey Kong. Well, some of those, some of them. There's a lot of, uh, not to, not to be critical, but Zelda, there's... <laughs> they do, Zelda they do get every something year. every... <laughs> yeah. Hey, there's, hey, there's, hey, I'm talking about real there's Zelda games, like brand new ones. Those. Okay, well, yeah, yeah if you say that. Then. Mario Mario Mario. Doesn't count. And I'm a 3D Mario. Remember Metroid Prime 4? Can they announce that? Yeah, oh. we still haven't got a trailer also, for it. Also, I really, I really don't know how the studio even could make like without doing um what they did with um re out resource in BDSP. There is just no fucking way I can see like Game Freak having to make two different studios to make two different Pokemon. Well, games. they already have yeah. teams. They already uh, have two teams. They already, they already have. They already do that. Making games. Yeah. So. 
but like i just i just don't see it that just i just can't see it for like just this going oh they could outsource it to koei tecmo or no not koei i guess i can't see it but i also i can't see a world where quote unquote generation 9 is a legends game i can't see it it's probably I, not going to be a Legends well, game. No, but like, no, I don't think, I don't think anyone's saying it's that. It needs to at least be seamless. It can't be like walk into a Pokemon, see the whole animation and everything, because I'm sorry. We yeah, watched a video, no. that is way too slow. Like, Yeah, no. Some of the stuff in Pokemon exactly, are real. But it needs to incorporate a lot of stuff that Legends brought to the table. Is there, I wasn't sure you told me, told me that one video that was like the dude catching like what was it 13 like sneezles and legends meanwhile he was still going through the thing and he was just running around as starter for like the set for like a, the later part in legends it's the thing even in the wild areas when you touch a pokemon it's not seamless i don't want that anymore it better be seamless because that's ridiculous it's like, like you can yeah. go to a loading screen see your person throw out a pokeball it's like no just make it like legends it doesn't need to be exactly like legends but at least make it more seamless. Just Doesn't show that you just show that you learn things from legends and are using it to improve the Pokemon games. It doesn't have to or be. It doesn't could, have to be legends in name. It just has to do. Or what it they is. could just bring back Pokemon Coliseum and just start reusing that stuff. Mm -hmm. Plus, there's not really. I, aside I, aside I, from no. like, aside from I don't know few, honestly. Those, those games are fun, but those games are. Deep those aren't the. Those are mean, not good. Story mode oh. stuff. I mean, just. I don't mean story mode stuff. I mean, just like pure battle thing, like with. No, what even that, it, it, from what I've seen, even that seemed a little slow from the uh, gameplay footage I've seen of it. It seems a tiny bit slow. I mean, the battling is exactly plus the same only, the core games. It's just the fact that it's, it's, it's just the lot. fact that it's all doubles. The only thing competitive players have currently is like BDSP and oh, nobody. The competitive don't, players. Don't, listen, in a perfect world, I would burn to the ground the entire competitive scene of Pokemon. But that's a different discussion for a different day. Ooh, I, have to, I have seen some of the competitive side complain about Legend just because it isn't Good. for them. But it's like, here's the thing, that's <laughs> fair, but you sure. literally have... You literally have bdsp and sword and shield and like, they're still they're still they, they still have like That's hurtful stuff they still they're still supporting those games too so yeah, yeah. if it was up to me they wouldn't but yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> the fact that the, the like, idea the uh, series can just be drained when everything Pokemon. is seamless about this game know. it's quite fun too it's stuff like the fact that there are no abilities in this game but red but like um, uh, Cherum and Cheruby, whatever the the eggplant looking thing that turns into the cherry. No, you got it right. It doesn't have an ability, but when it's sunlight, it turns into its form, and it it just doesn't have its ability to activate, but it just does it. Just stuff like that is so seamless. You don't have to have the little ability box go burr. It's changing form. It just does it. When it rains, like that happened to me when I was catching one. It was like <laughs> yeah. it, it was sunny. But then it started raining and it changed form. No, it's still, depre it's still depressing Pokemon. how you know who One is thing I will slow to start. Okay, you're all talking. Another thing I would like to see an improvement on is when you like pass over an item, it still kind of does the thing where it's like, oh, you handed over this, you handed over this. I would like to just see a list. That's one thing, but other than that, like... There, there I, better never be a Pokemon game ever again in the future where evolving the Pokemon is not just an option for you. And yeah. you yeah. just change out your moves on the fly. And changing you moves. cannot just change out your moves on the fly. Yeah, for one of my, for my Zoro, I would. See, that's the, like the that's, that's, those are the kinds of things that just, okay. they need to stay. They need to. If they, if they, if they had the move thing, HMs would have never been a problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like the I like the new move I like the new move thing a lot. Though in the yeah. future, uh, in future Pokemon games, if you have a massive boulder that looks like you need something special to break, tell me that I can just throw my Pokemon at it and break it. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> not just experimenting and doing it and the it just Ryan works. Cat. Ryan, I am a Gen Z or I just Google things. Well, I just so am I. Pokemon I found that on Twitter. 
Pokemon you heard that too, right, Jeff? Yeah. I think we're all Gen Z. Pokemon did stuff to my brain that I just I see a rock and I'm like, well, I gotta wait till I get the the ride yes. Pokemon. I can break yep. rock. And the I fact just that climbed over it. <laughs> no, no, no. It was like in a cave. But like the fact that uh, like, no, I just oh, climbed over it. The fact that like um, oh, what is it? When you're battling like four wild Pokemon, the fact you can just throw a ball and catch all of them in the same fight and it doesn't go. You you there's. Two you can only get one at a time. Before you can catch it. Yeah. I didn't. Like, it's also. You can actually switch between the. It's also neat that you can, if that happens, you could just get one and then run. Yeah, or you can catch all of them. You don't have to just defeat them all. I didn't know about that until I saw someone do it, and I thought, oh wow. I also want to bring up one thing. How do you guys feel about Agile and Strong Style? Because I feel like it's the best gimmick so far. Like I, think, I actually quite like it. I, I just like wonder. I just wonder. Just right. It's not. Yeah. It's not everyone. It's not going to stick around. Mean, but it's cool. I would want as much as I should have been. It made bat. So it made battle was more fun for me, honestly. Those styles because like the fact that he, that like someone could use like an Agile my move and then use another one is like kind of like. I like it. It's a very it's interesting thing. If you're trying to capture a Pokemon but not kill them, you can use two yeah, edge. Uh, you, yeah, you, you can just use Adderall right style. On the Pokeball. Anyone it's else really seamless. like the way Thunderbolt looks in this game? Yeah. yeah pretty oh, something I noticed was the sound design in this game is pretty good. Maybe it's because I turned on the. I, maybe it's because I turned the dynamic range to Y, but like. When you do that, the sound becomes really fucking good. The sound is good. I love sound. I do. You don't have to do the stupid fucking light bulb thing to get Volt Tackle on Pikachu. Light bulb. I wish the peat block was easier to find, but other than that, yeah. I found one while digging around. It was great. <laughs> Just go up to the master lady and say, hey, can you teach it? And boom, you got it. I fucking hate the fact that it took me a while to find a peat block. And then I talked to, um, I talked to, uh, um, Gunther. Wait, no, um. Ginther. Gunther. Ginther. <laughs> I talked to him, and he was like, I got this hunk of coal. Do you want it? I'm like, what's a hunk of coal? And I got a peat block, and I was like, the fuck? I needed this like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I, I actually expected Ginter to play a bigger role. Um, spoilers. Shit. Spoilers? This character does shit. He just sits down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess the point I gotta bring up with I mean, that is reflected in his artwork. I just not miss. I guess, I guess the only thing I gotta bring up with Legends is like, I feel like this is just the let's go topic kind of brought up again where it's like is this the future of pokemon or is it like, you don't know not pokemon to not is. to go after the pokemon community here because clearly i love the pokemon community absolutely <laughs> dearly and they never do anything wrong but anybody in their right mind who thought oh, Pokemon yes, Let's Go was the future of Pokemon was either writing an article that they needed to get clicks on or they were Verlicify. They no one actually <laughs> thought that. Oh my god, fuck Verlicify. Because there's just crazy Verlicify is a fucking fans. piece of shit. It's just crazy watching Pokemon fans go, you know, I know Pokemon and we're getting Let's Go Johto. Oh, uh, did you Let's say go, you know Pokemon? Like, you don't. No, you don't. It's like, Pokemon like, kept like switch up on you at any point in time. Case in point, Ash winning the league journeys. Imagine uh, telling someone. Uh, oh, that's January the game. That, that is the anime, but my point still stands. Yeah, imagine telling someone this time last year before Pokemon Day that we were getting a game set in feudal Sinnoh uh, that was semi open world that threw out most of the Pokemon tropes and it was being developed by Game Freak. And it was great. And it was great. <laughs> And it's actually it fun. Pokemon trying new stuff would have been good. I wouldn't have. I just gotta give it to you. That's what sucks about Sword and Shield so much to me, though. It says it, like, it, it, it went back in a while. They played ways. it safe. I truly believe. Extremely safe. 
and I have said this for a while, I truly believe the Isle of Armor, and especially the Crown Tundra, mapped out Legends Arceus' semi-open world. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's also probably going to map out whatever's next. Please, I just can't go back, please. Gen there is one major flaw that we will, needs to be patched We will have out, to, though. we will have to, I wonder how this game They need to add rocks to, to the game. Though, as, like, months no, go no, by. something so awful that it hurts me to this day since the game's released. What? The stupid-ass AI's, um, hydro pump luck. <laughs> This is the one thing we need to patch. Here we go. With hydro pump. They hit it every time when they use it on me. I will say one thing. My hydro pump on my wall rain has yet to miss. Fuck Paris. So I gotta bring this up about Legends Arceus. It's just five times in a row with hydro pump. They should have at least missed one. Practically every move that's in this game is a brand new move animation. And pretty much every Pokemon has new attack animations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they even make sounds when they attack now. They also have special animations, like if something hits them and it's not effective to them, or if they get a super special move. That's the thing I love about this game. The Pokemon will just cry, like a move misses, and my Pokemon will just let out a cry. My the Pokemon, like if I'm ever battling a trainer, they will cry. It's like yeah. When yeah, like when, like when my when my like when my Zor like when I was battling when I was battling with Zorg and someone used like Giga Impact, I like I'm like oh shit, and I was like it has no effect on them. I was like, what about oh. when you fail? They, what they about when you fail a capture and some someone just get enraged? I also like the lines that you use for uh, like when you try to catch a trainer's Pokemon. It just says like. The, the battling is the only way to solve it or something. I like so that. They didn't Angel. use Pikachu's anime audio like they've done for the other ones. It's weird. They didn't use Eevee's either. It's really weird. Can you believe there was discourse about that? There was a person who reviewed the game and they said that one of the reasons Legends Arceus was disappointing is because it still has outdated Pokemon cries. Is that the one? How do you, how do you update those? <laughs> Giving them real animal cries? I don't fucking know. No, you just know. get the. We need to get real animal. No, no I don't want a ratata to come anime. out and go. <laughs> I feel like there should at least be an option though between just the anime cries and the game cries. That'd be cool. Yeah, I guess that would be. Cool. In the future. In the oh, future, to be fair, though. Things. To be fair, yeah. I guess there's a there's an option, but like. Yeah, but then some of them just sound just stupid. Hear... <laughs> 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 like, like, like as long as we're not doing the dub, we'll be good. Uh, and no, like, I don't. I mean, yeah, what you don't could, realize is that if that like, happened, they studio. would be. <laughs> no, but here's the thing: you don't realize you can play in any language you want. It's not like they'll be like. Well, yeah, but I don't think I don't think there'd be like dual audio. I, I feel like the only Ryan, way let me have hope. I will slap you. I can can you can you blame me for not dressing? Like, <laughs> they did it for special Pokemon. Like Ryan, shut up. Like, I'm trying to hear Alex. This would only really no, work if it just applied to special Pokemon like your starter starters <laughs> and your legendary. It is it is um beyond time that Pokemon has voice acting. I will say that. Mm. We do not have voice acting. All about that. See, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> I can yeah, show I you a couple like episodes from the dub. I'd rather I'd rather eat like straight garbage and sewer and drink like a full glass of sewer water than well, listen okay, to but like, uh, international it, it, it always, it always it's be not, like a different not even not anime dub, then it's fine. Hang on, let me re like, let me respond to that though, yeah, Star, before like you general, go on. Um, I said as long as it's not the regular anime dub, then it's fine. The generations Wait. and everything else that's not related to the you know usual. I like when had a good dub. I don't know. Evolutions wasn't dubbed good either. I, it it I mean, the, the uh, evolutions quality, wasn't that great in general. This it was fine. Dubbing doesn't matter. It's the fact that voice acting is a staple of modern gaming, and frankly, there. Zelda doesn't have it. Yeah, but I feel like my, I feel does. like the. 
But here's the thing. Every, the Zelda game <laughs> every time I hear action. someone talk about the Breath of the Wild oh, yeah. dialogue, they always say how much they hate it. And I feel like that would be the <laughs> so thing with Pokemon. Not, they would, oh, like, no one really likes the voice acting for Zelda, everyone, so that's a... This is what would happen. This is what would happen. It would go from, why is there no voice acting to, why is it bad? Why is it bad voice acting? Yeah, but that's and simply uh, that people direction. are... That's just simply that people are just negative and don't. Then why do they? Why do they need to have something happen again to learn their lesson? Just Pokemon doesn't. They're never. They're never going to learn their lesson. But I wasn't someone who was like that. I just think the game needs to modernize itself, and voice acting should be one of those things. Here's the thing: if it's going to be like Fire Emblem Three Houses with really good voice acting, okay. If it's going to be just Pokemon Ooh. doing it, just a Pokemon company having any say, hell no. In the Pokemon or they could just do what Banjo and Kazooie does and, and just have them do noises yeah. when I talk. That, okay, no, no, no. We mean we are, we're talking about the Pokemon Company. In, we're talking about the Pokemon Company International. Blinky, you gotta remember, like the Pokemon Company Company in general is just an agent of chaos. You don't know <laughs> what they're gonna give us. They're either gonna give us shit, they're gonna give us a six-star meal, or they're gonna give us anything in between. Yeah. Sounds sure, like every not to are. not to say you guys aren't special, but that sounds like every company on the planet. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Agents of Chaos, fair enough. Yeah. Though is um, with Breath of the Wild, voice acting is usually there for when it's a cutscene. Yeah. Most That's of the all time that for I would Pokemon cutscenes, most of the time for Pokemon cutscenes, there's usually no dialogue. That really is a good point. There really is. Whoa! Oh God, the play. Play. Oh, I'm pretty, pretty sure freaking... people, some people need to keep playing Legends Arceus. <laughs> if that's the case. Yeah. Oh, the uh, yeah. I did. No. I did. There's dialogue. There's dialogue at the end of Legends Arceus. I'll say that. Oh, fair enough. Oh wait, I haven't. Uh, you're right. I haven't been the end of the game. No, but the Sword and Shield uh, scene with Piers, the silent Piers, mm -hmm. that haunts me in my dreams yeah. every okay, night. They could, they could do the something opening, for music. The opening to Sword and Shield when Rose is talking to the big stadium, like it kind of felt weird that just nothing yeah. was coming out of his mouth. Just as long as, just as long as they get like the Twilight Wings people, then I'll be, I'll be oh good. Oh my God, Twilight Wings was. Sad. Yeah, the Twilight Wings dub was also pretty good. Exactly. It was just. Mm. It's because they had. They got the extra fruits they needed to mustard, which works really well, surprisingly. And my boy Kagi. Oh, wait, no, the the no, no, like no Kagi was in the journey. Has but... good voice actors, but they just have bad direction. I, I don't know if it's even that because I watched the Coco movie dub and it surprisingly wasn't that bad. Okay, the I direction in certain points was a little spiffy, but other than that, like, I, heard, I thought I heard the direction the was supposed to be. In general, was really good, though. Yeah, yeah. but also, but also, the voice acting didn't bring it down in any way. So, yeah. Another thing I need with Pokemon games is I need them to stop being in two versions. Whoa! Yeah. They did for this well, one. I wish they were not <laughs> with you, Alex, but you know they're gonna be like. But two versions. But they just more so. <laughs> the fact that he got rid of the fact that you can evolve Pokemon via trading with items that fuck fuck two versions for oh trade like no shut up the fact that you get like options and shit. Yeah. And shit. The, the I, fact that this game... I agree, but I think the two versions is a fun little novelty, even though it is only for profit. Um, the fact that this game just said. Don't buy them. I just, I just want said, them to be mixed. I don't care if it's a fun novelty anymore. This ain't like, this ain't like the olden times. I just want them merged now. But what does that do? The fact, the fact that. But the the fact what? That, who cares? Um, this, if there's one game, who game, cares? Yeah, but it's like, are we would change for change's sake? Isn't really a reason to do anything. A change for oh this makes them this makes them less money because they got less diehard fans wanting to buy. Two Listen, mm. diehard fans want to be stupid. That's up to them. That's not my problem. That's the well, definition. Diehard fans wondering. are gonna say they're gonna boycott stuff, but they still want to go play Sword and Mid. So I'm oh, not really. Yeah. Fan be like, wait. Speaking of sales, Legends Arceus is selling like hotcakes right now. Keep your eyes on that. Hang on, let me see. Let me see how many copies it sold. Legends RC <laughs> is. It is. It is going crazy. Whoa! What? That's Hang on, Pokemon. Not, I believe that doesn't include uh, digital. No, it does. Oh my! It does. Me, oh, I'm a digital oh, person. Oh, okay. It includes everything. It's one I of those press releases. Said, 
This is the game where you complete the Pokedex, and, and by all means, you can complete the Pokedex with just yourself. That's no great. Like yeah. Oh yeah, it's only been a week and or what, and like Legends Arceus is already at 6.5 million. Probably That's a, fucking impressive. Probably well it past, it's probably well past it's 7 by now. It's, it's probably, it's probably not done either, because this is just the first week. First, I think it's no, the first three days, game, actually. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone's not gonna buy the game now after it's been a really week. Specify said, oh, it. it's been it's like, yeah. Okay, it's been a week. Let's not buy it. Like, wait, wait. Yeah, this game is probably gonna continue growing, and I hope that I just want people. I just want people to support this game so that we get better stuff in the future. Uh, because like, uh, make this whole series, please. <laughs> because like, damn. Be careful what you wish for. If it's only <laughs> sales. They're gonna make more sword and shield. Oh yeah, guys, guys, go look at voice chat. Did you know this? That my what the Adam fuck? Had what? what? No. Their yeah, brother. They mentioned it. Really yeah, cute. they mentioned it. Yeah, they do I, mention that. I didn't that, catch yeah. that at all. Wait a minute. Oh. Yeah, oh, she like older sister. Yeah, she's the older sister. Oh, huh. see, I like stuff like that. See, even you know, stuff like this is better than what Soren Shield deal with. Like some of it's like, oh yeah, Melanie and what? And, and she, Gordy. Uh, yeah, Gordy. she supposedly has like three or four baby kids sitting around the house. Baby How come we can't see any of them? You know, plot reasons. I don't. No, no it's not plot reasons. Them. It's they don't want to make the models. It's not like, it's weird because even Sun and Moon, like, you could go into people's house and see, like, Lana's sisters and everything and yeah. stuff like that. Like, oh. Are they named Harper and Sarah? Uh, yeah, they're in no. the game, Maybe? but they're not, they're not, they don't look like they're anime counterparts. Oh, Why does, it's interesting. Usually up for the anime. Or, it's usually up for the anime to do stuff like this. Oh, they are named Harper and Sarah in the games, too. Cool. Yeah, I wonder if they're... Brothers wonder in the game. Yeah, I wonder if they're named Ho and Sui in uh, the Japanese Probably. version of the game. Probably. Man, it's it's always nice. Wait, 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 wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh, wait a minute! You know what we should actually talk about too, though. Yeah. The Sophocles episode. Oh, yes, my not baby. Me. He came back. He came back for blood, and he delivered. <laughs> Sophocles came back for, he said, Cassidy and Butch, Legends Arceus, I want to come back. And they went, okay, yeah, come back, man. Yeah. Just like every other Sophocles episode, bang. We got, we got, yeah, we got some banging tracks this episode. Sophocles mm -hmm. got some pretty good development, too. Yeah. What's that, it new just, music? And, and was... Yeah, we did get some new music. Yeah, we did get new music. Two. It was like one, one during the Anthropos when it was like in the rain, and then one that did. Yeah, I oh, could really tell that. I could tell that a woman. I, I thought it was Miyazaki music at first, no, but then it wasn't. was like, huh, the strings sound slightly more like Yuki Hayashi's. I really like the message about Sophocles and how he gets depressed whenever he fails. Yeah, like that's a very, that's a very, that's very realistic, actually. Cause there are some people who just like can yeah, just have like one little failure in their life and they'll just get depressed for a while. Mm -hmm. I'm kind yeah. of like that. So Sophocles really yeah. Like that. yeah, I do like that. None of the, none of the uh, I guess none of the Sun and Moon characters really get 100 percent get over all of their problems. Like Lily still probably has is probably still kind of traumatized. Uh, Lana still actually Lana I don't know what Lana has. L I, I was thinking <laughs> Mallow. Mallow is like Mallow still kind of has to deal with a lot of their mother. That must be a lot for a child. Man, it's wait, Jeb, nice Jeb, did you see the episode? A Sophocles episode? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what do you think of it? Oh, it was good. The continuity was good. It was delicious. Mm. My boy Sophocles, bro, he's really yeah. Him. But it would have been even better if we saw Norman's family. It was pretty great. <laughs> it's pretty great that um, 
It, they just I don't that get that. I don't. That okay, episode. but like, I don't get that completely. That makes no fucking sense. I actually, I actually have to rewatch the uh, Sophocles episode because I kind of watched it at work. So there was probably some stuff I missed. Man, Jeff's been just yeah, been probably. Bro, I heard. Bro, I was. Bro, it was like a quiet day, so I'm like, yeah, might as well watch the episode right now. Oh, that's, that's people on my job, dude. People be watching Demon Slayer and stuff. I'm like, you should watch One Piece. Like, One Piece is too long. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, this ship yeah. is too long, but I'm still here, so. so I was gonna say, well, <laughs> okay. Okay. Too long. <laughs> I still, I actually still, I still need to watch the movie. I can't remember who, I can't remember who said it, but like, apparently someone in this, in this podcast was surprised that I like Demon Slayer. That star? I don't know who, I don't know who said that, or if I'm just imagining things, but I thought Wait. someone was surprised that I like Demon Slayer. Wait, is it the anime or the manga? The, the anime. Okay, that, yeah, that is... Huh. Well, the anime is better than the manga, so I'm not yeah. sure what I'm surprised about yeah. that. Uh, but, like, it somehow just hit the right places for me. Anyway, enough about Demon Slayer. Back to Pokemon. <laughs> okay, so the thing I like about this episode is I love that it just doesn't... It doesn't do anything that makes me feel dumb. Like how Air Force almost stepped on Tokudamaru. I was really expecting the director guy to go... It's your fault, and then to yell, or there's really nothing extra yeah. about it. Unlike some other fucking there's series. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm still not over it. That if you if you if you do stuff like that, that's how we go on tangents. <laughs> yep. So I'll just leave it at that. So literally just okay. So like, what? Um, what's another thing? Um. Well, yeah, we also saw the DP specials. Those uh, really feel yeah. like we're, oh, wait, we're wait, pushing an hour here. It, I don't know if we have to talk. Like, I guess we'll save the other stuff for next episode. I was gonna um, say, the RC specials could literally get their yeah. own episode. Yeah. 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 I yeah, I can't remember who said it, but like, uh, or who brought it up, but like, the flashback that they used from Elaine was literally just footage from Sun and Moon. Yeah. 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 I feel like that just shows how that just shows how fucking like timeless the Sun and Moon art style really is. Like they don't need to redraw it; it looks fine the also, way it is. Also, even though Journeys has like a kind of newish up a newish art style, it's just Sun and Moon updated. So there's not yeah. like a lot you have to change compared yeah. to like, like X Y Best Wishes or any previous mm -hmm. series. So. Yeah, especially I, yeah, especially, especially the, like. Like every, like pretty much anything for Sun and Moon. I will say, someone we were talking about anime, and oh. I mentioned the Pokemon anime to people who lived in my house, oh, no. and yeah. one of them goes, "Yeah, the Sun and Moon anime really wasn't that good. They really downgraded the art style." And I immediately, <laughs> when he said that, thought of, all of you, the biggest yeah, you Sun know. and Moon uh, uh, defenders game. and hype people on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that, and that I is, wear that badge loud and that loud. Is, that is, that is, that is, that is, us anymore. Like, Twitter yeah. will just be like, even the Pokemon fan will be like, really? Are you still using the outdated yeah. joke? Any, any person I think who says any, like, like, anyone on, I think anyone on Twitter who isn't like a regular Pokemon anime fan. Like, Twitter, anyone, like, I guess Twitter artists, too. Anyone who's that much of a simpleton to just simply do something. <laughs> simpleton? <laughs> Simple the, the, the fucking the fucking people who yeah. brain is about to do the <laughs> and people who and also even more you'll love this part even more oh, I'm so after, he's like x yeah, and y was on. the best story they actually gave ash a love interest <laughs> so your cousin's oh my god okay let's end the episode of that <laughs> please Ryan. please all right well yeah. Any well, anything funny? Anyway, anyway, anyways, X Y is the most white heteronormative Pokemon series of all time.